Thanksgiving has passed and Christmas is right around the corner. Health leaders have already warned us about a potential coronavirus spike after the holidays, but some hospitals are already struggling to keep up right now. Our Sydney Stallworth was out in Decatur today. She tells us more. Representatives from Decatur Morgan Hospital say they've had to take things one day at a time to get through the pandemic, but now with ICU beds full and major staffing concerns, they're considering all options to try to treat as many people as possible. We are stretched just like everybody else. Although COVID patient numbers are high, the staff of nurses is low. We are currently in a staffing shortage um, and we, we have been paying incentives to get our nurses to work um, extra shifts for a while now. And they are so tired that money is no longer that important. Right now, 19 staff members are positive for COVID-19 and 20 other staff members are currently in quarantine. It's not hospital spread, it's community spread. In order to fill the need, nurses are being pulled from all directions. Call on all of our resources, including nurses that are working um, you know, at the desk, um, you know, doing desk jobs that used to be working in other, um, you know, at the bedside and um, trying to get some students to help us. We're told the hospital is reaching out to hire more. We probably need another 15 nurses. Um, and some of those are nighttime nurses, which are hard to find too. Um, and probably another 10 or so nursing assistants. But the competition for health workers is high across the country. Other states can pay a whole lot more than we can because their reimbursement is so much better than what we get here. The staff members they already have are tired. What they need is time off and um, you know, e extra nurses so they don't have to take as many patients. The hospital's ICU beds are completely full. We're told there are 71 beds in total, 26 at the hospital's Parkway campus and the remaining 45 at Decatur Main Campus. The hospital does have a plan in place for COVID-19 vaccines. We created an internal task force because we hope to get vaccine to um, vaccinate our frontline staff first. So all of our nurses, CNAs, housekeeping, everybody that's working on those COVID units, I would like to have them, including the physicians and the nurse practitioners, um, vaccinated first. And then we'll ER, you know, anywhere that'll touch a patient. And then I have also agreed to help the county, city, vaccinate all of the first responders. You can find more information on how vaccines could be distributed through Operation Warp Speed on rocketcitynow.com. Indicator, Sydney Stallworth, WZDX News.